Hey, gun people! <laughs> this is a follow-up to that Connecticut state trooper that lost his freaking mind on the highway. Just, you know, typical police, tyrannical, red coat behavior to you pesky citizens who want freedom. So, I found it kind of odd that the colonel would actually defend this. I mean, if you watch this video, and I did a little abbreviated version I'll add in here on this guy's video, and then listen to this colonel justify it, it's just amazing. So, maybe I'll slide in my montage right here. You wanna fucking run your mouth? No problem, you came to the right guy, step out. All right. Right now you're just being detained, you're not under arrest. So, that. so we're out doing our thing. Okay. Pass me and flip me off! All right, speaking. All right? Yeah, I'm sorry. So who the fuck do you think you are worried about what I'm doing? I know I'm right, God damn it. Shut the fuck down. Everyone's got something to fucking say. Mind your own goddamn business. You're fucking speeding. How about I start with that? No shit. I was following that kid for a reason. And if you hadn't done that fucking stupid stunt, I'd be with him right now. But no, you just couldn't leave it alone, could you? You had to be a fucking American. And you're fucked. How's that sound? No shit. Mind your own fucking business next time. Yeah, it's called shut the fuck up. Just couldn't fucking shut your mouth in the heat. Sit the fuck down. Did I tell you to move? I'm doing my fucking job. How the fuck am I gonna catch a speeder if I'm not speeding? Unfucking believable. It just never fucking ends in this fucking job. I got 14 months. I can't fucking wait to be done. This is gonna tell you why our department, instead of having 1300, has 850 right now. There's a fucking clue to the public. What a bunch of assholes you are. Shit. You think I'm fucking kidding? Look at me. Do I look like I'm happy with you right now? Mind your own and be on your way. Don't you ever fuck with me again. Now let's look at what the news and what the colonel said. Media now has a Connecticut state trooper facing some possible discipline. The agency called the trooper's behavior disturbing, and now an internal investigation is underway. NBC Connecticut investigator Len Bestoff has more. Video from state trooper Matthew Spina's death. I'm wondering why they ain't releasing the full video of this contact. Because it probably looks worse from his view. Because we can see him getting in the guy's face and throwing and smashing things. So notice they're not releasing except a small portion. Had this guy not been videotaping his cop, we would have never known about this. So anybody that's like, well, you know, they're going to take care of it, Rick. They'll do an investigation and we'll get judged. You're a freaking idiot. Dash cam appears to show him getting very heated with 31 year old Kevin Jett. Appears to show him getting very heated? Are you kidding me? The man he pulled over on the southbound side of the Q Bridge in New Haven Monday after Spina says Jett passed him and get. Notice all the vehicle traffic, all the dangerous people because people are speeding. Notice how dangerous everybody is that these, these damn road pirates have to be out there taxing the shit out of Americans that aren't already taxed with their bullshit fines and tickets. But I digress. Gave him a hand gesture. The incident was recorded on a cell phone and posted to YouTube. When state police brass learned of it, Colonel Stavros Malikas says it was serious enough for the agency to initiate an internal investigation. They didn't hear about it from the news and they didn't initiate an investigation. Somebody up top called and complained and said, you need to look into this. Does anybody really think one of these troopers... Look, dude, I'm telling you guys. All the troopers that saw this guy is high-fiving him. He's a freaking hero in the agency because they're all like, Dude, you just said what I wanted to say every day out there. Good for you. Don't worry about it. We got your back, brother. The blue line is there for us. That's what everybody's saying. Ain't nobody upset about this except some brass that has to stand up in front of media and try to justify it like this colonel does and put Spina on administrative duty. Just took him off the road so he doesn't interact with the, with the public right now. State police say that Jet has had run-ins with police before, but we have not been able to... Oh, let's make it about the guy who flipped him off instead of the out-of-control cops who have backgrounds, who have guns, who are there to protect and serve. Public safety, we're here to help you. We give guns, we give backgrounds. All our guys are stable because we make them go through backgrounds. You pesky citizens can't have guns. Due to the pandemic, we're not even going to issue permanents to you pesky citizens, but we're going to let our guys like this run around with freaking guns. Hey, red flag laws for you guys, not for our guys. Freaking hypocrisy BS. Reach Jet for comment. 
We know he's done things like this in the past. Um, that doesn't excuse what uh, the way he was treated. Colonel Malika says Spina has done an excellent job his whole 19-year career. So the cop's done an excellent job his whole 19 years. Okay, everybody, here we go. Raise your hand if you think this is the first time this guy has ever treated a citizen this way. Raise your hand. Well, you're a freaking idiot. Career, yet these tough times can impact even the most experienced people in law enforcement. These tough times. These tough times. Let's see. This cop has a job. He's getting paid. He's not worried about losing his job. He's not worried about paying his rent, paying for his kids in school. He's not worried about anything. And he's got the tough job. He's got a badge and a gun. He gets to run around and screw with people's lives, give them tickets, raise their insurance rates, find them, take money out of their family's pocket. He's got that job. And he's stressed out. Oh, poor baby. He let his emotions get the best of him, and uh, that's kind of disturbing because we have a standard that we hold our personnel to, and it's out of the ordinary for Trooper Stepina. This guy's already cleared the guy. It's out of the ordinary. This isn't routine. This is a first-time incident. We're going to let him go with just a counseling, and we'll get him back on the road protecting and serving the shit out of you pesky citizens. Are you serious? So this video didn't show his whole statement, but he pretty much, you know, an internal investigation has been done on the trooper and placed in administrative capacity. Okay, look, we do recognize everyone's under extreme stress. See, they're justifying the trooper who pulled this person over, infringed on his free movement, had a gun and a badge, yanked him out of the car, searched him illegally, handcuffed him, and screamed and berated him on the side of the road, endangering probably the public and both of those guys' safety on the side of the road because he got pissed off because he got flipped off. It's due to the extreme stress during the pandemic. Oh, so when law enforcement and government is affected by stress, they can freaking reach out and bash people. But if a citizen tries to go to a gym or open their business and make a living, these same pesky cops with guns will be showing up to put them in jail. Out freaking rageous of the tyranny and how they're just fine as trooper. For our troopers, they are dealing with the impact of their personal lives. Really? Their personal lives? They got jobs. They're not getting shut down. The government's not telling them, hey, you can't go to work. You can't get a paycheck. Pay your bills. Pay your taxes. Yeah, no, no. They're dealing with the stressors of having to work overtime and get paid time and a half. Having their benefits, their medical benefits, having their retirement, having all their pay and out there infringing on other people's rights, writing them tickets, taking money out of their pockets, and the poor troopers have to impact their personal lives. You know, the response from this colonel is more sickening than the response from the trooper out there dealing with people is. While this is not an excuse, this is where we kiss you before we screw you, I agree with you, but while this is not an excuse, we are sensitive to this and has referred our trooper and our employees to assistant program. Let me, let me translate that to you. We don't want to discipline him. We agree with what he said. We're okay with what he said. We're just, we got to do some damage control because it got on a video. So we're going to send him to a shrink or somebody and say it was the stress of the pandemic. It was the coronavirus. It's not the trooper. And that way we'll get him help. We'll save face and we'll continue to do business as usual. That's what this translates to. Out freaking rageous. So I went to the uh, Connecticut State Police site. I'm sorry, Connecticut State Department of Emergency Services. Yeah, it was. he was giving that guy some emergency service on the side of the road. And public protection. Yeah, he was protecting his shit out of him. Look at, the, look at the command staff. Look at the way these guys take their pictures. Tough guy. Tough guy. Look at my hat. Ooh, tough guy. Ooh, ooh, tough guy. I mean, who? I don't know who picked. I don't know what it is about state police. They've all got freaking colors that that are just freaking ignorant, and they call it tradition and history, and we can't change our uniform. So they dress like freaking idiots. But that's just me. While I was on the website, I was like, "Deadly Weapon Offender Registry." Now they gotta make you register like a sex offender if you get any gun charge or mental health. Let's see what this is. Uh, if anybody is found guilty by reason of mental disease. Or defect. I'm thinking your trooper that was freaking having a spazzy hissy fit on the highway has a mental problem. No, 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 no. This only applies to you pesky citizens. 
It don't apply to our Department of Services and Public Protection because we're out there protecting and serving the shit out of you, chasing you down, writing you tickets, raising your insurance, taking money out of your pocket, all in the name of keeping you safe and justifying our jobs and collecting more taxes because you guys aren't tax enough. You're just pesky citizens. How freaking rageous. Their response is worse than any officer's response, in my opinion. Well, in that there...